Joining me live, Shadow Climate Change and Energy Minister Ted O'Brien. Thanks for your time. How much of this have you read and what did you make of it? Well, Tom, I haven't gotten through every single page, I have to say, but I've certainly uh, had a, a brief read overnight um, and in more depth this morning. I think there's a few big takeaways. I'm mm. glad you started with a point on China. Um, while a lot of nations, including Australia, have done some really good work over the years, a lot of that is being swallowed up um, by China and other developing nations. And it's a reminder that this is a, a global ambition and it requires global efforts. And so the more that we can uh, be using our diplomatic strength to also uh, prompt the likes of China to move faster and further, the better. Um, but it also just goes to the, the, the magnitude of the challenge itself and what, um, what I particularly took note of in the IPCC's report was the emphasis on technology um, and in particular they pointed to carbon capture and storage, CCS, as something that uh, we need to see more of globally and I think that should be uh, writ large for the current government. They essentially say we've got to use all the technology that we have. Yeah but also to have more ambitious targets at the current trajectory, including what Australia is doing and says it will do in other countries, has us on the path to four degrees and some pretty dire outcomes. So where does that sit for Australia? Because the coalition hasn't budged so far from a 26 to 28 per cent reduction by 2030. This report says that's just not good enough. So I think there's a few things here. When it comes to the coalition, we'll release our policies in, in due course. Um, and when it comes to setting targets, typically there are, there are probably three things you look at. One is, what is the, the profile of emissions at that time? Um, so when you're heading... As in where they're, sh where they're actually scheduled to go? Where no, no, where, where they are at the time that you are looking at um, releasing your policies for government. Mm. Secondly, what your policies are obviously dictate the extent to which you can be reducing emissions. And thirdly, you do need to consider the economic situation. So they're the three areas that will be considered certainly by the coalition. I think... Right now, where we're at, we have Labor in power. Now, I have real concerns about the pathway they are taking Australia down to meet that 2050 net zero goal. And I'll get to that in a moment. If sure. I can just ask you on the report, though, because you said you've read it. Is this the sort of thing that you would be talking to your colleagues about to say, when we next set our target, we're going to have to do everything we can to be more ambitious? There's certainly... it's. The IPCC reports are one of many um, that we leverage in discussions with colleagues. Um, but it, yes, it's certainly one of the key inputs. Um, and it's not just this report. I mean, you know, if you look at something that we have copped some flack over lately, Tom, mm. uh, we are unashamedly looking at the possibility of nuclear energy being part of the future energy mix. Now, so much as the left try to beat us up on that, if you go to the IPCC, they point to nuclear energy and carbon capture and storage as mitigating technologies to tackle climate change. And so there are times when people want to cherry pick this stuff, but ultimately it's that all the above approach. It's, it's that technology mm. and, and agnostic you, approach. But if you picked them up and it came with a much more ambitious than 26 to 28, which is way short of what the IPCC says we need to do by 2030, or maybe it's a 2035 goal, obviously, then that might get a bit more credibility. If you're saying, here's the technology, we need to consider nuclear, which would be a big step in this country, rightly or wrongly, but it comes with this target that's much more ambitious. Well, you... th th there's no doubt, as I said before, mm. um, once you come out with a suite of policies, that's one of the key inputs into determining the targets you want to sign up to. So it's policies first, it's, it's, and then it's, whatever target that it's, comes out with for you. Uh, it, it's the economy. It's the status of emissions, where it's at, and it's your policies. It's those three. And, and that and, is and, why... But when you say that, do you mean we, can, we have all of those and then whatever the number comes up with, that's our, that's our number, rather than going, we really need to get to 50, how can we get to 50? No. 50% um, reduction. Well, well it, 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 it's all part of the same, right? So if... Well, no, I'm saying, it, it what, is what's the priority? Do you go with the target and say, we have to get this target for the world's climate, and then how do we get there? or here are the reasonable policies, what number do they come up with it's a do, it, it, it's a It's a dynamic thing, Tom, right? But, so, so just let me answer your okay. question if I can, right? So we have agreed to have a target of net zero by 2050. So the extent to what you say that, you know, do you work back from a target? Yes, you do. But however, 
It's not a matter of saying, right, there's 2050 target and let's go. Let's just race there. We need any policy to get there. You, you have to do the responsible thing. Otherwise, mm. you, you don't just decarbonise the economy, you decapitate it. And uh, this okay, is where Labor goes wrong. Mm. They're, they're taking, I believe, the wrong pathway to net zero. Um, we had a plan for net zero. Labor never has had, by the way. They've, they've never had a plan for net zero. By there was a lot of things in your plan which was sort of technology and, you know... The, Nobody can have a totally detailed plan to be 20, until 2050, to be quite frank. But my question remains... Sure, some plan. My question yes, remains on a 2030 ahead. or a 2035 basis. Mm. Do you start off with a target in mind or do you have policies that, that get you in the target? It, it's one or the other because 2050 is fine, but how quickly we get there does matter. The world also has a carbon budget. If you keep emitting exactly as you are till 2049 and then flick to 2050, 20 net zero, mm. it's very different to... Uh, and, and, and Tom, I, I think I understand your question, and, and that's why I went to that issue of 2050, right? Oh, well, because, just yeah. be, because you de do need to have an understanding of the pathway to get to the, mm. the net zero target. Well, now, we, within that pathway, yeah. then that's when you start saying, OK, if you're talking about the next 5, 10, 15 years, what do we have to take into account of? The economy, the emissions profile, and also your policy. So they're first, and whatever target they come up with, that's your target? They're the three considerations, achieving 2050, and within that, then you can say, OK, what's the profile to these shorter-term targets? Okay. Now, now he, he, I, I, th I think what you're saying is we'll set it by those three priorities and whatever target that gives us in 2030, 2035, that will be our target. Is that what... So, 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 what long, so long as we are on path to achieving what we've and signed up to, to which is net okay. zero 2050. We're nearly out of time. Can I just yeah. ask you finally... Um, you have, I think, a 10 and a 5-year-old? I do, mate, yeah. Um, do you ever think they might come to you in 30 years and say, could you have done more? Should this have been a bigger priority? Mate, I, to be honest, I'm, I'm glad you say it. I, I think about my little 5-year-old and 10-year-old every time I'm thinking about policy. And by the time 2050 comes, they're going to be in their early 30s and late 30s. Will Australia be a rich country or poor country? Will we be a, a strong country or a weak country? Will we be captive to foreign interests other than our own or will we have fierce sovereignty? Um, how we manage our energy system will determine that outcome for my kids and for their peers. And okay. that's why we need the right pathway to 2050. Labor's taking us down the wrong one.